What's up YouTube? This is Sam from Thai Schooling and today we are going to solve some important thyroid gland related MCQs. So I want you to stay with me. We'll be solving each and every MCQ with their answers and the little bit explanation of the answers so you could understand that part of the MCQs or you can call the BCQs. So first off, we will go through this question. We are actually going to solve a total of five MCQs and with their little bit explanation. So first, let's get started with the first one. That is your 29-year-old female undergoes a thyroidectomy, which basically means that she is going through a thyroid surgery, right? To remove a tumor during surgery and adjacent nerve is injured which is adjacent to your thyroid which of the following symptoms would most likely result from such damage you have got five options the first one is your difficulty opening mouth b is difficulty swallowing c is hoarseness of voice d is inability to turn head and e is increased heart rate you have five seconds to solve if not i'm going to explain it to you You got it? No? All right, let me explain it to you. So the answer to this question is the harshness of voice. There's a big reason behind it. The first one is difficulty of opening mouth. It's not an answer of this because this is uh, the related to muscle of your uh, mouth, not related to your uh, uh, basically medial, uh, medial, uh, lateral, medial pterygoid. And difficulty swelling is not the function of this one. So. Uh, why the answer is harshness of voice because with uh, the thyroid gland there's a nerve let me all right let me explain it this way so why is there's a harshness of voice because during surgery the probably the most common nerve is injured that is your recurrent laryngeal nerve so most commonly your recurrent laryngeal nerve is injured which is related to the important muscle in the thyroid region and if this if this nerve is damaged this will lead to your harshness of voice so that's why the answer c is correct now let's get to another question and uh, just get rid of it all right, let me now solve this one. So this is again another MCQs. So this is related to a surgeon tells the house officer to tap the side of a face of a patient who just had a thyroid surgery. The surgeon is most worried about damage to which of the following structure. You got five seconds, just answer it. All right. Let me tell you the answer. The answer to this question is, you got it? Not yet. It's your parathyroid gland. Because parathyroid gland is located behind your thyroid gland. So that's why the most common structure that is going to have some problems with it, are going. if the surgeon is worrying about it, is your parathyroid gland. So that's a very simple one. Now move further on and solve another MCQs. So let me get it back to its place. So now we are going to solve this one. So this one is uh, not hard. Same as others. So while performing a subtotal thyroidectomy, a surgeon inadvertently sections the recurrent laryngeal nerve. So which means the surgeon had uh, cut the recurrent laryngeal nerve so which of the following muscle would retain would retain its innervation subsequent to this energy means which of the following nerve is not, which of the following muscle would properly work even though uh, among the following muscles even though the recurrent laryngeal nerve is damaged you got five seconds to answer this question got it now if you got it then best of luck so let me answer it for you. The you have to remember you have to remember two important things that uh, the only muscle this is the cricothyroid is the only muscle of the larynx which is supplied by the superior laryngeal nerve and all these four uh, muscles below that is your lateral cricoc 
arytenoid, posterior cricoarytenoid, and thyroarytenoid, and vocalis all are supplied by your recurrent laryngeal nerve. So if the muscle is damaged, all these four muscles are going to be damaged, but there is nothing going to happen to crico thyroid muscle. So that's why the answer A is correct. You have to remember this that superior laryngeal nerve only and only supplies the crico thyroid muscle, which is its motor supply, and its essential supply is to the superior to the uh, what do we call epiglottis, uh, superior to the glottis. All right. So this is these all muscles uh, are supplied by. You, you can simplify it. All the muscles of larynx are supplied by the recurrent laryngeal nerve, and except. Crico thyroid, which is supplied by only and only superior laryngeal nerve. So that's it regarding this MCQs. Now we move on to another MCQs. And get let me get it back to skills. So we got to another one. Let me read it for you. So the question says when a low tracheostomy is performed below the isthmus of the thyroid, which of the following vessel may be encountered below the isthmus, remember this one. So, you got five seconds to answer this. You got it? Best. So, the first option, inferior thyroid, inferior thyroid, the second one is your first one is your artery, the second one is your vein, the third one is your costal cervical trunk, D is superior thyroid artery, and the E is your right brachiocephalic vein. What do you think is the answer? The answer to this one is your inferior thyroid vein. Why I'm saying inferior thyroid vein is the answer to this question. For that, I have to pick up this diagram to explain it to you. So let me zoom it in. And here you see. So this vein, which is your inferior thyroid vein, kind of going from just uh, going from up up there and supplying beneath the isthmus. So the, if, if, if you are encountering when, when doing a low, uh, low tracheostomy, you can see that this nerve is just below your isthmus. So that's why the answer is the, exactly uh, the, uh, what we call, the inferior thyroid vein. All right, so an answer B is correct for this one. All right, now we move on to another MCQs before getting rid of this one. All right. And let's talk about the final MCQs. This is uh, very simple. Uh, the most commonly injured nerve during the uh, thyroidectomy is, which is, which is that nerve? Your transverse cervical nerve, external laryngeal nerve, internal laryngeal nerve, or recurrent laryngeal nerve? What do you think? I just talked about this a bit ago. Let me think if you are present minded or not. All right. The answer to this question is your recurrent laryngeal nerve, which is the most, remember, if somebody, anybody, a teacher asks you which is the most commonly injured nerve during your thyroidectomy, which is, means the operation of your thyroid gland or surgery of your thyroid gland, is always the recurrent laryngeal nerve, which supplies all, all of your laryngeal muscle except the cricothyroid. Cricothyroid. All right, uh, with that being said, we will come again with other MCQs. And if you want important MCQs on any other topic, we can uh, make more difficult MCQs uh, with related topics. Please make sure to leave us a comment and tell us uh, how we can make our lectures better. See you next time. Keep visiting Tyke Schooling or tykeschooling.com.